Welcome viewers to the latest instalment, a review of last week's battle, Battle 13B, which is just a small video as our group of heroes goes through the castle of Mithdravor. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the board. I haven't started the battle yet at this stage, I'm just setting up. So the idea from the narrative from last week is that there was a Dark, El Dark Elder battle, there was a uh, this is floor number two. So they they went down the uh, tube, I suppose, down to the larder where all the people get uh, eaten by the ancients. And they went down this hole. And I imagine, you know, they're going to come down into this hole. Come into this area here. And this is the layout of the board. Little dungeon set up here. And I'm thinking our heroes are going to come in this section here. Now, if, for people who haven't seen the videos, these are our heroes up here, or part thereof, and uh, that's who we've got. If you haven't seen the uh, heroes before, go back and watch a few old videos. They're all there. So they come down into here, they go, wow, well, look at this area here, and they find this slimy area here, and out of this slimy area, there's going to be some Tyranids. So this is our Tyranid kill team. Forget about uh, the demon uh, princess up the back and the uh, inquisitor there. So this is what we're going to have. Ripper swarm, some Tyranids. I've given them wings so they get to fly over these open areas. So these open areas, there's a little bit of cardboard underneath those. So that's supposed to represent sort of like a hole going deeper in. So the story goes, you know, people get thrown down those grates, they fall down here, through those holes, down into the caverns of Mithdravor, where the ancients basically feed on people. So, at this sub-level, I suppose, we have this slimy area here. It's going to be populated by the Tyranids. They get awoken by our heroes, which are going to come on over here. And then we're going to see how this rolls. So they're going to try and work through this labyrinth now. The open areas here, the, the, the areas which are basically holes, the Tyrans are going to be able to fly over. Except our heroes are not going to be able to go around there. They're going to have to go around those little walkways. So they're going to go up here. They're going to be able to go up along that little area along the top there. And basically move around this entire area. So we're going to have kill team starting there and the opponents, the Tyranids starting there. That's our board set up. We'll see what happens in turn one. Okay, so at this stage I've done the introduction, and this is our group of heroes who have come through that door there, basically going on that, this is their entrance into the battle arena. Uh, everyone is in a spot just there, and then they became aware of, out of this slime pit here, were all these Tyranids. We've got some a Broodlord at the back there, Tyranids with wings, we've got three of them and we've got some rip two ripper swarms one two and a couple of guard there hive guard i think they're hive guard anyway that's what they are so that's the tyranid side and that is our heroes they'll meander through this maze that's the whole idea of this season i'd like to try and get in amongst these little maze sections see if that works a lot of little tactical positions there which might be useful so we'll see how this pans out. We've got turn one coming up shortly. Here we are at the end of turn one and we've only had the one casualty. The Tyranid started on this side of the board and we're basically coming out of this sludge here. We had Broodlords, Ripper Swarms and the guard there basically just come around this side of the board. Couldn't really get a shot away at anything at that time. Uh, we had the winged uh, warrior was up here that can fly across this um, uh, pit area so it's kind of like hovering there sat there and shot at the custodies there the custodies took fire from one two three of the tyranids winged tyranids and just shrugged those um, those shots off um, wounded but not down and then 
out of the shadows we've got Ven Smogler here who basically put a dagger through the um, Ripper Swarm there with the assistance of the Custodes so first blood to the allies everyone else basically the Farseer the Inquisitor I'd like to know what people's thoughts are on the um, Inquisitor being part of the uh, Kronos Ordos, Ordos, whatever. Um, that's part of the storyline, a little bit obscure, but hopefully people like it. Um, over here we had uh, Jethro Gibson basically come down here. Couldn't really do anything at that stage, just sat there. Likewise the Don sitting there ready to try and open up fire lanes on something can't quite get it yet then we had the tower come down here that could get a shot away at the uh, tyranny there didn't take it out and we've got Patrick sitting here ready to sneak around the back come through here and no doubt by that stage these guys will come up and it will be on so early stages yet that's the end of turn one casualties one on the tyranny side turn two coming up shortly Here we are at the end of turn two and a little bit of strategy on behalf of our heroes. We had Jethro Gibson charge out into the middle and sit right at that little junction just there and it was in uh, combat with that tyranny just there which basically flew out of combat up on that area so I could fire down but what it did is it blocked this section so all those melee units which were basically around here came here and really are all bunched up and really can't do anything so sacrificed himself but it stopped them from coming in and damaging our heroes we had Patrick Mead sit here on this little platform and fire his bolt gun in there not taking any casualties we had the tower do the same those two tyranids up the back there fired down and took out the Don, just there. Uh, likewise we had the Eldar fire back, just exchanging blows. Had our new Inquisitor do the same. Uh, but we had down here, we had Ven Smoglar and our Custodes Victor Palladius take out uh, a tyranny just there. So they've basically quarantined this section over here inflicted some damage over this side but you'll have to see how it goes got a nice little maze thing going here so should be interesting who goes where all right we've got turn three coming up shortly here we are at the end of turn three and the tyranids have fought back uh, let's start moving around the board we had this bottleneck of tyranids sitting here they moved up into this area here. Um, Patrick Mead came in and charged from this angle here and got himself toasted again trying to block this area so the rest of the group can clean up the tyrannids from the outside and then concentrate on these guys at the end. Um, there was one tyranny that was hanging out the side here and that got vaporized by Onzin, uh, Familia, the Farseer and our Inquisitor over there so he got taken out. Up here we had Victor Palladius and Ven Smogler basically come up the side here and go and engage this tyranny here and took it out but Ven got taken out in the same process. Uh, here we had um, a tyranny fire and take out the Farseer. So overall we've got one, two, three, four tyranids left and we've got Victor Palladius, Inquisitor, and the Tau remaining. So, Tyranids with a slight edge, we've got turn four coming up shortly. Here we are at the end of turn four, and I thought it was all over for our allies, but our Tau Ethereal held up and stopped the tide of Tyranids. We had the... Uh, uh, the bottleneck I suppose you could say of Tyranids sitting there and they basically meandered their way down here and engaged the Tau and they really should have taken out that Ethereal but they didn't 
still holding up. We had the Ripper Swarm charge down here and engage the Inquisitor and the Inquisitor turned the tides and actually took the Ripper Swarm out. The Warrior here, Tyranny Warrior, shot at our Custodes but just bounced off that lovely big shield there. Uh, so really what should have been a, a big turn for the Tyranids turned out to be one that didn't work out so well. So it's still not looking so good for our heroes. We've only got three left and our towers sitting in a really difficult position. Um, but there's three Tyranids as well, so could go anyway. We've got two turns to go. We'll see who survives. Here's the fifth turn, end of the fifth turn. And what we had here is we had Victor Palladius and the Inquisitor they were sitting up here and they couldn't really access this um, hovering uh, Tyranid flying over this uh, pit area. So they basically withdrew using Victor as a barrier and the Inquisitor just poking his gun around the corner. He had a shot at the Tyranid and didn't kill it obviously. Victor just stayed there and acted as a human shield, acted as a human shield. Over this side, there's no surprises here. Um, the Tau just basically died in combat, should have died last turn, but managed to hold on. Uh, it's not looking so good for our heroes. We've only got two left, but we've got one last turn. I don't know what we can do, but we might be able to pull something off. Uh, we'll wait and see. We've got turn six coming up shortly. Well, there you have it. That's the end of turn six. And a little bit of a surprise ending here. We had the Tyranid, winged Tyranid, who was hovering over in that pit area, decide to charge the Inquisitor, who was basically offered as bait, once Victor Palladius basically came around the back here and came up this side. These two remaining Tyranids um, came and charged and also lost. So um, Victor was um, victorious, I suppose, in taking down the Broodlord there. And also the Inquisitor managed to be victorious as well. So that's not actually a Broodlord there. That's the Broodlord back there. But anyway, uh, so we've got a narrow victory to our heroes. And now I'm going to do the narrative section where our Tyranids are basically going to slink back into their slimy home over there and our heroes are going to lick their wounds and maybe head off deeper into Mithdravor. Well there you have it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we're going to be back into a large battle next week and we'll actually not next week. Yes it will be next week. Sorry. Yes, next week. Um, next week we are going to uh, give you a little spoiler for those who are interested. We might have some orcs next week. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.